this scene will discuss the roles of ecdysone and juvenile hormone in regulating insect metamorphosis. Previous scenes discussed that multiple neurohormones were required to regulate the physiological and behavioral events related to molting. Early studies on the initiation of insect molting demonstrated that a molt-stimulating hormone from the prothoracic gland was a steroid derivative of dietary cholesterol and was named ecdysone. Subsequent studies showed that ecdysone was a prohormone precursor for 20-hydroxyecdysone, the actual molting hormone that is synthesized at the tissue level by the target cells. Ecdysteroids regulate the onset of all molts in response to physiological triggers such as body weight or head capsule width in both hemimetabolous and holometabolous insect species. The product of the molt, whether larval to larval, larval to pupil, or pupil to adult, is dependent on the production of juvenile hormones by the corpora lata. Note that the arrows for juvenile hormone at the larval pupil molt are much smaller than for the larval larval molts. Also, the arrow for juvenile hormone is absent for the pupil adult molt. The presence or absence of juvenile hormones during ecdysteroid exposure at the time of molting reprograms protein synthesis by the cells relative to whether they will synthesize larval, pupil, or adult protein. Eventually, it was determined that juvenile hormones were methylated derivatives of Farnesol. Farnesol precursors are intermediates in the pathway to steroid ring formation in non-insect animal species. Insects, like other animals, can convert acetate into Farnesol, but insects lack squalene synthase that is essential to condense Farnesol precursors into squalene. Squalene is the precursor to the steroid ring nucleus of sterols. Instead, insects synthesize farnesol and then convert farnesol to juvenile hormones. It was subsequently determined that there were four forms for juvenile hormone based on how many methyl ethyl side groups were present in the molecule. The most prevalent form of juvenile hormone in most insect species is juvenile hormone 3. However, juvenile hormones 0, 1, and 2 are found in Lepidoptera and a juvenile hormone bisepoxide in some diptera. Once the chemical natures of the metamorphic hormones were known, subsequent studies on their specific effects on the events of metamorphosis were identified and will be discussed in the next scene.